So good afternoon. Welcome and uh, thank you all for joining us here today from all over the world. In Slovenian Global Business Network Organization, we have achieved great results this year. With the numerous virtual meetings with mission to connect Slovenes worldwide. With this program, Slovenian Business Women around the globe, we hosted an amazing group of Slovenian women talking to us with such inspiring stories and experiences and establishing connections. Thank you to our sponsors and partners, uh, Slobras Chamber of Commerce, Slovenia, Slovenia, Brazil, Government Office from Slovenians Abroad, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and Slovenian Business Club for the connection with our guests today. At our eighth and last virtual meeting this year, we're privileged to welcome Slovenian businesswoman, Nusha Pavlinek Slavinec, Managing Director of Rota Group from Slovenia, run by the third generation of its Pavlinek family. A successful example of good family business practice. Nusha isn't just a businesswoman who loves the adrenaline when making business decisions. Her adrenaline kicks up in her spare time as well. A Slovenian first female helicopter pilot and first rescue diver in high school, she has already overcome languages, language barriers and attending a business conference in the USA. At that point, uh, she made the, the goal to globalize the company, Roto, which she quickly achieved. Nusha studied uh, at the Faculty of Economy and Business University of Maribor in Slovenia and in the International Business School at Jean Schapping University in Sweden. She has a master's degree, business degree in management. She did at IEDC Blatt Management School in Slovenia. The Rota Group company with headquarters in Slovenia employs more than 450 people and had revenues of 40 million euros in 2017. Company Rota exports more than 70% of its products to 55 markets around the world. Specialties, manufacturing, distribution, Rota modeling, design, product development, intelligent eco solution, and so on. Today, a special guest uh, will join the meeting later. So stick with us until the end. The event will be recorded and published on Slovenian Global Business Network YouTube channel later on this week. Please keep your microphones off while the presenter is speaking. For any questions, raise your hand or send us your questions, comments, chat below. Who doesn't know me? Matej Perošek Čekvin is my name. I'm Executive Director of Slovenian Global Business Network, organizer and the host of this program. But before we welcome our guests today, I'd like to give the word to Dr. Stefan Bogdan Schale, the founder and team leader of Slovenian Global Business Network. So please, Mr. Schale, the word is yours. Uh, thank you very much, Matea. Good day to everybody. And on behalf of the founder group uh, of uh, Slovenia Global Business Network, Slovenska Globalna Poslovna Povezava, Dr. Kapitar Kralic and Ambassador Alias Gosnar, I greet everybody and uh, greet also the, our uh, host today, uh, Matea. Uh, Slovenia Global Business Network was founded with the aim to promote the business contact between between the Slovenians, uh, business women and business uh, uh, businessmen around the world, we put the business women in our uh, statement of our fund, fund, uh, of, of our foundation on our mission since the beginning. So uh, even uh, just to mention that basically that uh, we have a year of uh, very important uh, achievement, a lot of job was done. Uh, some of you participate in some of our activities. We, we promote Slovenian business around the world between the Slovenian Slovenes as well with the Slovenian companies with also we had a very good cooperation with some Slovenian business organization. I hope that we will 
even in the year with COVID and the uh, year difficult for all the company with a lot of uh, technological uh, 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 challenges and business challenges, the change of the business models, uh, we can say that we succeed to promote the Slovenian's company and Slovenian's business as well. Uh, this is the eighth, uh, eighth uh, uh, event of Slovenian businesswoman uh, around the globe. Uh, we had basically uh, much more events with the Slovenian businesswomen uh, than with, let's say, with the another gender uh, genders, but. Uh, the truth is uh, that the Slovenian women has a very important role in managing, founding, and success of Slovenian companies abroad, even in Slovenia. So the, basically the Slovenian business abroad uh, uh, in Slovenian diaspora is a family business and very successful with the help of Slovenian women in this. So uh, we, have, we are happy, very happy to have Nusha Paulinek and Gabriela Slava Giribello today. Uh, why have uh, some very funny connection with uh, uh, Mrs. Paulina. The first, her, her father has the same name as me, and she has the same name as my, my dearest sister. Uh, and uh, the, the, her father was also the president of uh, Obertna Zbornica Slovenia, outstanding president that I was the president of Brazilian Chamber of Industry and so on. So we, 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 we had some contact to work how the business uh, organization work and, and, his per, and also the company performance working around in 65 countries, a good example for anybody the, uh, on the base that we can. We can even be Slovenes in Slovenia, we clean Slovenes around the world, doing business between Slovenes, we can. We are, we, we, this is a win-win uh, game. My, I, I, I want also to mention something which is not uh, very usual to talk about, but uh, the company is uh, located in Prekmuria, which is, let's say, in some way, developing region of Slovenia. I had a very good friends of over there, the late uh, Dr. Vratos, with whom I used to work together, and we built a lot of projects together, uh, even the Guričko Park as well, and Dr. Andrei Horvat, uh, who uh, was a state secretary and is nowadays in Ukraine, working for the German uh, consulting company. I was also the member of the board of the Ekonomska Srednja Shola in Murska Soboda for three years, trying to bring some, let's say, international uh, uh, views. But uh, we have between, among us, uh, uh, the, uh, that is important to mention, the Prekmurska diaspora is very important in Slovenia. The People from Prekmuria got uh, went uh, went abroad before the Second World War. They are hardworking people, and as our uh, uh, Honorable John Doma, who is the president of Canadian Slovenian Chamber, is his family is also from Prekmuria. He used to say that he's not speaking even Slovenian because he's speaking uh, Prekmurschina. Eh? But one of the oldest Slovenian clubs around the world was Transmurana in Uruguay, which still exists nowadays. And I had a privilege to visit them many years ago. And John, I have also the difficulties because uh, uh, my Slovenian is from Steyrs, for their Slovenians is Prekmuri, and we have some, uh, some difficulties to understand is Slovenian, so we speak much more uh, in, uh, in, uh, much more uh, in, in, in Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, the other, we have another guest, which is Gabriela. I'm very happy that Gabriela is with us uh, because her father was one of the founding partners, uh, founding members of Slovenian, uh, Slovenian society, Zvezda Slovenci in Brazil. And he was also the editor in chief of Lipo List, the new paper or the, the, the journal that we had at that time. So the fa her family was always involved with, with Slovenian community and so on. And I have to say that, okay, 
besides that she is, she is married to, to Fabio, engineer Fabio uh, Geribello, he is a son of a family. We are friends before they born, all of that. But also the Gabriela is a businesswoman, well, very respected and linked to Slovenia. She produced, I don't know if you can see here, uh, Idovo Pivo uh, for the 30 years of Slovenian uh, independence uh, and uh, with, uh, uh, with hop from Savinsko. And uh, this is something that is very important for us all around the world. The Slovenes, Slovenes, uh, Slovenian business persons uh, involve the products from Slovenia and help the Slovenian company to, re, to become on the, on, on the uh, uh, market. Uh, what we will intend to do the next year in Slovenia Global Business Network, first to be much more uh, active, in, especially with uh, two, uh, uh, two digital uh, tools. This is a slow global platform with, it, uh, with support of Slovenian Foreign Ministry and as well the Slovenian uh, Ministry for Foreign Affairs that we establish and we, this will be the, the connecting business uh, from all around the world right, with Slovenian business and so, uh, because as organization on the end of the year, we have to say how many good business was done. Now we can say, okay, we have a lot of event, we have a lot of people, but our, our job is to increase the business relationships making win-win situation making profit. This is very important. We will continue with this, uh, uh, with this problem within global business, one of the program. Unfortunately, Matea is leaving our organization uh, for a new challenges. We thank you very much for cooperation and wish you a lot of success in new jobs and new challenges in new organization that you will be uh, 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 you will be as well success as in the past. So thanks to everybody for coming to this. Please put in your, uh, in your strategic thinking, doing business, Slovenia Global Business uh, Network, as well Slovenia Diaspora. We are much more efficient, competitive, uh, when we are doing business with, other Slovenes. This is a win-win, and you, we have to, 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 to trust that we are capable to do better and to be better uh, jointly, jointly. So I wish to everyone and your families, your, your, all your co, uh, co workers uh, uh, and friends. And also sometimes we have no all some of friends, then we have some enemies, but also them. Uh, uh, happy holidays and new year, uh, full of cooperation, healthy and especially healthy and happy. Thank you very much, Matej. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Shale, for your words and wishes for all the insights and all the future plans with the organization Slovenian Global Business Network. It was a pleasure working with you. Uh, and now please let's move on and give the floor to Nusha. So please Nusha, the floor is all yours. Yes, thank you, Matea. Hello to everybody. Um, just we switch on presentation. Can, can you see? Mm -hmm. So I would like to thank you for inviting me. Um, as Matea already said, uh, I'm very, uh, I work in different uh, businesses and I also work with the different people but for uh, uh, managing the company, it's also, Matea, you hear me? Okay. We hear you, we hear you. Okay. 
it's also important to be always to have always challenges and always work uh, with the adrenaline. And here are a few pictures. Um, I'm also, as Matea said, the pilot, uh, pilot of helicopter, pilot of airplane, and uh, our family uh, is very connected with flying. Uh, on the last slide, you will see we are also organizing next year in September a uh, very important event. It's a uh, world championship in hot air balloons. Uh, here are some pictures also how we brought some of our tanks, water tanks on uh, in Kranjska Gora. Uh, this is very famous and nice ski resort in um, Slovenia. This was last Friday. And the only way how to brought uh, the, the big tanks was uh, to leave them with a helicopter. So it's not only hobby, it's also uh, important for our business. Uh, this is our family. Uh, we received the uh, EY uh, Family Award uh, for the excellence in Monte Carlo in 2016. Uh, this was uh, the first award which uh, went to Slovenia and I'm very proud of my um, family. Uh, here you can see my brother, father and my mother. And on the next slide, you can see also our children. Uh, this is my daughter next to me and my brother has two sons. They are um, now quite young. They are 11, uh, 12 and 14 years old, but they are very strongly involved in our family business. So uh, every Thursday, my grandmother, my mother, she uh, bring them to the company and they work on different departments. And uh, we try to impress them uh, with our business uh, and show them uh, all advantages. And also maybe some issues that uh, come every day in the business, but to know really what you have to expect in your life, in your career, is good to, to leave uh, the business and also to see all the advantages and uh, also weaknesses. Uh, Roto is also a very proud sponsor of different sportsmen. Uh, you can see also here Benjamin Sauschek, he won the, uh, the golden medal on Olympic Games this year in Tokyo. And also, uh, for example, uh, on the picture on the right, you can see uh, the, uh, Peter Kauser, who won uh, the silver medal in uh, Rio de Janeiro four years ago. Uh, but we are also giving different scholarship to local uh, students. Uh, they write diplomas, uh, but also we support with our products, different organization. For example, on the picture on the right, you can see uh, Vershic. Uh, this is the cottage uh, where they don't have water. And uh, we, uh, gave them a wastewater treatment plant with which they can fully recycle wastewater and we use it um, for flushing toilets and uh, for everything just for drinking they need to drinking water but in the summertime there is really leakage of water and it's very helpful that we support them on that way. Uh, we also uh, sponsor, we were sponsored also to different um, universities and schools where we uh, donate uh, our machines. So first robot that we had in production, then we donated this to Srednja Strojna Shola in Murska Sobota, then also now to the faculty of machinery in Maribor, uh, we donated the wastewater treatment plant so they can learn uh, how this really works and also different uh, processes uh, that happen in wastewater treatment plants. 
Uh, I would like to introduce uh, today the very important topic for our future. This is water uh, all over the world. Uh, we have um, in the summertime a uh, few months where we don't have you know, water. There are periods when there is too much water and we are also facing with uh, dirty water which is going in the nature. And today there are so many available technologies with which we can really purify water and uh, or reuse it uh, for uh, sanitary property uh, purposes or for um, irrigation or uh, any other things. And Roto is really a pioneer in this business in Europe and we started to offer this also to other continents very successfully. Uh, and that's why we will be very happy to find some new contacts uh, with the Slovenian diaspora and uh, to connect and make some cooperation with Slovenians all over the world. Here you can see some references, for example, in Egypt, in uh, Senegal, France, uh, Bulgaria, and so on. These are different um, places, for example, camps, airports, uh, military base, uh, where we really were from the beginning of the project uh, with product documentation, and then we also customize product according uh, the customer needs. And also at uh, the end, we supported them by installation and maintenance. Here you can also see a few tanks, for example, on the right in Rwanda, uh, where we install uh, wastewater treatment plants for 100 population units in a school. This was French school. And later we will see also one very uh, funny video about this. And here are also a few cases, uh, for example, in shopping center, we can install many, many solutions to collect water um, for uh, toilets, for flushing toilets, then for irrigation, and then uh, also to have some storage uh, for firefighting. Uh, so in case there is fire, we have water there and also to uh, clean water that is uh, polluted with um, oil on the parking places and on the left also grief, strap, grief straps uh, where water is, for example, coming from the restaurant full of um, oil and grease. Uh, this is a very nice example of Lidl. Uh, this, uh, there are many shopping centers in Europe uh, where we have agreement also with Lidl. Here is also a nice example of um, Little East uh, in Bernik. Many of you already landed and now they have a new terminal, uh, which is really uh, uh, self uh, independent uh, of water. So they collect water on the, uh, on the roof surface and also on the parking surfaces around uh, this building and reuse it. And we also delivered uh, different shafts to connect all the pipes uh, and also oil separators on the parking place. There is another very nice example. It's a river camping Blit. In Blit, there are two camps. One is Shobets, where we also installed uh, wastewater treatment plants and all the tanks and shafts. And now there is a new uh, camp uh, close to the uh, golf place and it's also uh, very uh, uh, okay then the next case is also a fuel station where we can see that also all water can be purified and collected fuel stations are usually also uh, on the highways and uh, on the roads. They are not in the um, big cities or villages and they need uh, to have enough water and also 
to purify the water that comes out from uh, from cars or uh, from toilets or restaurants. And also one nice example from factory also in Slovenia. So currently we export to 63 countries. You can see also here different products, which I will introduce later. Uh, we have about 4,000 different products. And here are a few references of these water products. I would like to uh, thank also to Lydia Leshnik, who helped us and supported us on the exhibition in Polutec in Brazil. And also on the right uh, picture, you can see when we exhibited in Las Vegas a few years ago, um, these are our main export markets. Currently, we manufacture our products in four countries. These are the ex Yugoslavian countries, so Croatia, and. Uh, for Slovenia, Serbia, and Macedonia. And these are these eight factories. And the different products, as I said, uh, for water, then we have products for agriculture. We are a market leader in uh, manufacturing wheelbarrows for horses, uh, and then different garden products like planters and um, fountains, garden basins. Then on the left, uh, you can see also different canoes, kayaks. On the right, uh, motorboats also with the electrical engines. And now we are developing uh, new catamarans. And uh, there are many custom molded products, for example, components for motorcycles, then for example, tanks for sailing boats, for motorboats, uh, catamarans. So if you are in some industry and you currently need, uh, you are installing some metal products or wooden products, we can replace them with the plastic products which, which have uh, uh, many uh, advantages. So here are a few examples also. Also, thanks for airplanes. What is one of our biggest advantage is also that we have um, strong R&D development. There are 22 engineers uh, and we have very advanced technology with 3D printers, 3D scanners. And if you come today to our company and you have a little drawing on a piece of paper, we can develop this product in three to six weeks. This is very fast development and also the investment costs are not so high, so you can pay off this investment in the mold um, in more than 300 products. So rotational molding is also very um, very simple uh, production technology uh, for a, a small serial production. And if we have all the processes in the house, these uh, all ideas could really uh, come uh, on the market very fast. Here are new uh, products developed in December, so you can see <laughs> there are many of them. <laughs> we talk also with uh, Matea <clears throat> to speak about um, uh, recycling. We are very strong. Uh, uh, we are very active last years in recycling plastic. Here you can see a few bags of uh, packaging materials we collect. Uh, with the Kayak Club and Kayak Federation of Slovenia. And uh, we make polymerization of these materials uh, to really receive uh, granules from which we can manufacture 
uh, new kayaks. Uh, these um, kayaks that you can see uh, were introduced now in Lyon in September on the biggest exhibition. And uh, we have really, really good feedback. Uh, so we started to manufacture also other products from recycled material. Here you can see uh, one of our best product is uh, Oops, sorry. Uh, the rainwater tank, which is uh, manufactured in imitation of wood. Uh, we manufacture this with our robots and uh, this wooden or uh, composite uh, plastic and wooden uh, products are really made from recycled material and fully automatized. We involve from robotization and automatization in all our processes. And this really uh, helps us to be competitive uh, on a, and also to increase the production capacities. Uh, especially garden products were very popular last year when it was, uh, was Corona time and many of us were on the garden spending so much time at home and uh, we started with uh, uh, e-commerce online shops and also with the drop shipping all over europe so with the delivery to the end customers from our center, central warehouse from slovenia and those products were very uh, successful last year uh, the last thing uh, I would like to invite you to visit Slovenia. I think you have a big reason next year. It is September, uh, the sky uh, above Brekmurja and Slovenia will be full of balloons. We already have uh, more than 150 uh, confirmations from different countries all over the world. Uh, the teams with their balloons will uh, come to Murska Sobota because we will organize the World Championship here. Uh, and uh, it will be nice to visit you, to visit us, uh, to fly with us uh, and to meet all of you together on this event. Thank you, Nusha. Congratulations on all your achievements and uh, projects from the family company. Uh, before I invite our special guest, which has in common with the last slide that Nusha presented to us, I would like to open chat uh, or for questions if anyone wants to make any comments or questions for Nusha regarding her presentation. Please, you can be my guest. Welcome with the questions. John Doma, please. Hi, um, uh, yeah, my, uh, my parents are from uh, Chaetsov Sea region, so in, in, the, in the south southern part there. Anyways, a very interesting company, and um, thank you for sharing your story. Uh, I'm here in Canada. Uh, I think you've got some things that you bring to Canada. Like, it must be challenging for you to bring in products that are so large, and if, you know, to effectively, and in, in from a price point, you know, bring it over the, over the ocean. Is, is that a, a challenge for you in, in uh, Roto or you, you find it not too bad? Uh, so delivery costs to Canada are not so high. Uh, we already export to Canada and also to US. And um, the value of container should be at least 30,000 euro. Then it will really make sense to, to deliver anything. Mm -hmm. so, it's uh, sometimes we combine different products, uh, but for example, one wastewater treatment plant, uh, it's a high-tech product. There is a lot of technology inside, 
it's not just a plastic tank and the value uh, of one container is about 50 to 60,000 euros. So it makes really sense to, to export also these big products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else? So here uh, I would like to invite now our special guest uh, that already Dr. Shale uh, mentioned before, Gabriela Slavitz, uh, also a member of Slobras, Chamber of Commerce, Slovenia, Brazil, a Slovenian Brazilian balloon athlete who became European champion in 2010. In 2010, she won her gold medal at first FAI Women's European Championship in Alitus, Lithuania. Two years later, she started with the number one at the second event in Frankenthal, where she finished in eighth place. Gabriela is a full-time mom and owner of Brazilian microbrewery, Grod, as Dr. Shale showed you before in the beginning, uh, together with her husband where they produce Slovenian beer out of the Slovenian hops and successfully sold to many Slovenian communities in Brazil, along with other Slovenian products or produced by Slovenians in Brazil in Slow Brass Christmas Basket this year. Gabriela, uh, born and works and lives in Brazil. So please, Gabriela, if you can give us a little input on your experience, uh, how was the Hot Air Balloon Championship organized by the company of Roto Lucia's uh, family. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Can you hear? <laughs> I had some problem with my computer, so I have to change to the to my mobile. But I think I can see you. And uh, I'm very happy to hear about because I knew it was. Hotel was such a big company, but I never knew in details. So I'm happy to hear and uh, I'm very impressed. And uh, it's, as you saw from the presentation, the company is, is very well organized. And I'm so sure that the, the ballooning event in September will be great. We had in two, three years ago, two years ago, the pre-awards there. And it's such a nice area and very nice for flying and, and, and like perfect to receive uh, balloonists and sportists from all over the world. So I'm very happy and I hope everything is fine and I can meet uh, Nusha and everybody in September as I will work I will help in the organization with the scoring and everything for it and, and everything they, they need for the event. Um, Gabriela, yeah. just one question. How many hours do you need to practice to fly balloon in such a competition? Uh, for this competition, I think the minimum is from FAI is like 50 hours. Yeah. It's not that much. But uh, of course, if you have more experience and you fly very often in different events, there are some balloonists there that they have more than 1,000 or 2,000 hours of flying, which is quite a lot. I don't have, uh, have about 500 hours, so I don't have much. But, uh, but it's, very, it's very interesting. Some, some new pilots, they have like 100, 200 hours of flying and they are already uh, participating in the worlds and have like 3000 hours of flying for the most experienced pilots. And, uh, and they compete quite, quite uh, good together. And it's quite, it's very nice atmosphere and uh, one helps the other sometimes in the beginning. <laughs> When it gets to the end, then you don't share much. <laughs> but uh, it's it's very it's very nice to be there amongst all the pilots and all the teams and lots of women. Mm, some women flying also in the woods, and many helping their 
their husbands or companions and everything and and working together for the event it's very nice will you ever fly again what will you ever fly again yes yes uh this year i've been flying in brazil uh not in competition but for for fun i i love flying so i want to stop flying and i fly with my my children and in but for a competition i don't know maybe 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 next year or the other <laughs> lucia is this also your activity or you ever fly, flown the balloon or yes we are flying many times now on santa claus we also have a um, kind of uh, balloon festival um, uh, we were also flying with the kids from kindergarten because they are the most excited when they see balloons in the air. Uh, so um, it's kind of hobby, but as you saw, uh, the shape of balloon is also similar to our tanks. And because of this, we use also this on all um, for promotion. So on exhibitions and on events, the company is organizing, uh, we are flying with our customers. So it's nice to combine uh, some sports, uh, some uh, promotional activities with the business and with the family. So Sonia has a question from Canada. Would you like to ask yourself or? I, I don't know very much about ballooning. When I was in Ljubljana, though I remember looking out my cousin's window and this was probably September uh, 2019, I think it was September, and uh, I saw these balloons. So it was probably you out there. So it's so nice to have the, the connection and know who was in there flying by my window. <laughs> but I don't know uh, who manufactures balloons. Uh, what's the investment? On, on balloons, I, I know nothing. Lucia. So it depends on the shape. Uh, Slovenia has uh, one special shape with which we usually compete on the championship. These balloons, um, if you invest in such balloon, the costs are uh, over uh, 200,000 euros. Um, but also the special shape balloons, which we usually uh, have for the festivals and for promotion, uh, are uh, quite expensive. But uh, our first balloon is already uh, in our hangar for more than uh, 20 years. So the lifetime of balloons is <laughs> long. So it's investment. But if you love flying, I think it's a good investment. <laughs> yeah, so the, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, please, Miss Consul, Elenka Jerak. Yes, hello to everybody also from Cleveland. Uh, I'm glad I'm able to participate today. And uh, a special thanks go, of course, to Mr. Schale, whom I supposed to know for many years since uh, the work at the Ministry for Foreign Affairs of Slovenia when he was honorary counsel and director of the Chamber of Commerce in Belo Horizonte, right? And, uh, and uh, thank you also to, to, for this platform. I'm glad we have it. And I think the Slovenian community and Slovenia needs this platform uh, to connect the people. Unfortunately, uh, and, and in comparison with our neighbors, I know that Mr. Doma is there. So hello to our neighbors in Canada as well, as well as other listening. Um, this part of US is not so well organized and uh, we are starting to, to, to encourage the people, uh, 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 especially the, we have big businesses of, uh, of the Slovenians or Americans with the Slovenian roots. But uh, we just need to, to give them a little bit more of courage put together and uh, 
to do something also for our uh, old homeland, I would do and connect with the other businesses, which is the actually the reason for, for this platform and connect it. I already contacted you, Mrs. Pavlinik. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed about the company and you have so many various products and activities. So I think we can do also something here, either in Ohio, either in other nine states, federal states that I'm covering from, from Cleveland, our consulate general is covering. And, uh, and uh, we, we will probably talk separately uh, about uh, how, how we can approach, what can we do. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to hear from you. And uh, there is another thing I would like to point out. Uh, I'm impressed of your responsibility toward the local community, to help with the local community. Either there are scholarships, either there are help with the kindergarten or whatever, even in sports, supporting uh, our athletes and so on and so forth. So really, I congratulate you. And also to follow the future with the green technologies, with with the with the green, te with, with everything what you do, for example, for wastewater and other things, I think this is responsibility for all of us. And if such a big and successful company does it, and it plays maybe a role model for other companies, I just have to applaud you. So thank you very much for having me. And regards from Cleveland to all of you. Thank you, Ms. Yerak. Uh, Dr. Stefan Bogdan-Shale, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that uh, Mrs. Pavlinek shows something which is very important for us abroad the board. Uh, representing, we hear a lot about the green Slovenia, about the eco Slovenia. But what we need is not only green Slovenia and eco Slovenia, but we also need that the Slovenian companies, engineering, uh, faculties, uh, research institution will be leading uh, on this field around the world. So uh, Pauliniak family, and Mrs. Nusha uh, and company Roto show us that the Slovenian company, Slovenian engineering can lead this process and uh, are competitive around the world. I think that this is a very, very important message for us. The second point that uh, Her Excellency uh, Consul General Slovenia in Cleveland, uh, Mrs. Alenka mentioned is uh, that you show also the Slovenian company uh, after three or 30 years of independence are also socially responsible. The socially responsible company is not something to go do with the socialism, but it's working with the market economy and democracy. For us abroad, this is important message. Yes, we are not discussing other, we are not accepting even in our in our, our uh, associations within a global business network, we fight very much to be uh, uh, ESG companies that the Slovenian companies, Slovenian diaspora company will be leading. And so the example like yours is important. And the third point I forgot to mention that we uh, announced on the, our meeting on the third, uh, last Tuesday, with the uh, Slovenian Business Association from Austria, Italy, uh, Hungary, and Croatia, uh, the project, which by the way is technically led by our friends from Trieste, from Trieste, is uh, and one of the I, uh, one of the people who contribute very much was Mr. Janis Klebania from Toronto, Brazil, Toronto, United States, uh, is the training program for Slovenian uh, young managers around the world. And I kindly ask you, Mrs. Uh, I think that you, uh, as I remember, you also mentioned that you will be, you want to make a part of this program. And I thank you very much. So we want the, the young Slovenians and with the support of the Ministry for Slovenians abroad and uh, Her Excellency Minister, uh, Dr. Helena Jaklic, we will establish this, uh, this uh, relationship. It's important that the young people uh, 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 educated, grow up, born educated, and grow up uh, uh, abroad. Understand how how big is the Slovenian business diaspora, and how 
uh, useful can be this exchange of experience uh, on management, on market uh, products, and so on that we can have. So this pro this is one of the programs that we will work hard also the next year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Shale. Uh, anyone else? Okay, so yes. I would. May I, yeah, oh, please, may I please, say please. something? Also, yes. yes, 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 Miss yes. Dr. Tatiana Rodis, the consul. Yes, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I would like to testify uh, and to witness uh, how successful Rosa Company is in France. France is a market. I'm here for, for 50 years already, so I know I know very well how difficult it is to 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 conqu conquest the the French market, especially the first steps. And uh, and so I I really I, I really admire um, Anusha and uh, and all the family and, and their company, of course. How how they uh, have become so successful in um, in, con in well uh, such a market as uh, France. So it it's uh, the testifying that they are a great company, and I, I I'm proud proud to say that maybe n not everybody knows that it's a Slovenian company, but I, I always try to put the the. The, the the weight on the fact that they are Slovenian and as I am of course that I'm very proud to to and also also personally I don't we have met uh, two years before the pandemia before the, the the virus let's say so we didn't have time to to meet but uh, since we have also twinned with the uh, with the uh, Murska Sobota, which is uh, also I think that you supported uh, this uh, this twinning with the uh, Fermini and um, Le Site Le Corbusier, so uh, a link uh, a link with the uh, with the Brazil <laughs> with the Brasilia, the town of Brasilia. Um, I, I I visited uh, so. Really, I just wanted to say that I that it's it's a great company because to 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 have such results in France, uh, especially nowadays in uh, ec ec protection of environment and ecology and so on. So you you really I admire very much and I'm I really congratulate you again. <laughs> Uh, do you agree with me, uh, Nusha? <laughs> that the French, the the French market is difficult, and and to to yes to uh, to, uh, to yes to to conquest it, you have to be good, <laughs> and you are. You, do you agree with me? Yes. Uh, thank you, also, Mr. Tiana, <laughs> for all support. We we have met, uh, if you remember, mm, three years ago. And we are still waiting for like... <laughs> Muria. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but unfortunately, that we have lost two years. I hope that that is going to be to be better next. <laughs> I wish at least. <laughs> so really, I I admire your family. Mm. And of course, uh, of course, your your company first, <laughs> of course. But it's behind it's it's you. Mm. Thank you, thank you for everything. Um, I would say the French uh, market is different, uh, but all uh, markets are quite the same or quite the same easy. You have a good connections and good people, so. Uh, we had luck in France. Uh, we also worked together with Mr. Uh, Igor and also Lily, which are also uh, uh, Slovenians and uh, from Prekmuria. And we are very happy that uh, we have you 
who support us, who also visited us uh, when we exhibited in um, Lyon. And uh, thank you for everything. Okay, so we come to the end. I appreciate your words, Miss Excellency Dr. Tatiana Rudita. Thank you, Nusha, for presenting and uh, Gabriela for being for joining us from almost your vacation trip. Uh, she came back uh, just to participate, so I really appreciate. Uh, thank you all for, for participating here today, especially to Miss Sonia, Mr. John Doma, and Consulate Miss Wanda for not missing even one meeting of Slovenian business women around the globe. So it was always my pleasure. It's my pleasure. And I hope we can meet personally in the future. And I really wish from the bottom of my heart uh, for all of you that you can spend your Christmas Eve with your loved ones. We are passing difficulties and I'm sorry, I'm going to get a little bit emotional, but uh, uh, us Slovenians living abroad, it's, it's, it's just overwhelming the moment like this that we can go on a plane and visit our families if it's possible. So I hope Omicron doesn't come in the way for us to be able to do that next year. So stay well, and I wish you all successful New Year 2022. That's all from me. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.